Hello everyone, welcome to my first video. I've made an introduction video, but for those of you who haven't seen it, I'm Tongwon and I'm a student in Korea. You can also call me Maya and I'll be studying at the University of Westminster next fall. I'll be guiding you through my preparations for studying abroad in London for a term, so if you want to know what I bought and what I did before going to England, just keep watching. The first thing I did was buy a suitcase. I had one to take with me, but I needed another one because my mom said I can't take every suitcase that exists in the house. So I bought this one to take with me. I needed something that can fit a lot of things inside and this one can be extended three times. And it's also quite sturdy, so perfect for me to take to England. Then I went shopping for the essentials. The first one was travel adapters. If you're from a country that uses different voltage, be sure not to forget to take a few with you. Personally, I need to charge my phone, laptop, blow dryer, camera, and who knows what else, so I made sure to get plenty. I also bought a pair of slippers to wear inside my room. I'm from a country where people don't wear shoes inside a house, so I don't really like wearing shoes around in my room. Other things I got are drainage filters, sewing kit, compression bags, extra chargers, and a few batteries. Then I went shopping for contacts and glasses. I have really bad eyesight, so I bought 9 months worth of contacts, just in case, and a new pair of glasses since I got my last one a few years ago. Drugs and medicine are obvious, but if you're under any medication, be sure to take plenty with you since you might not be able to get certain drugs in the UK unless you go to the doctors and get a prescription. I also took a new passport photo to take with me just in case something happens. I hope not, but you never know. So this may be me being a bit paranoid, but I've heard it's quite expensive to take pictures in England, so keep that in mind. The next thing I'm taking is my international student ID card. I'm not going to show mine here because it has all my personal information on it, but if you're in Korea, you can Google International Student ID Card or Kukjehak Sengjeng in Korean and sign up for it online and pick it up at a bank near your house. I've heard you can get a lot of student discounts at museums and exhibitions, so don't forget to make one before you leave. Documents, I'm not going to go too deep into it because everyone needs to take different things, but be sure to have everything you need for your visa and travelling. I've made quite a few copies of the same documents just in case because I'm paranoid but, you know, better safe than sorry. This may be a bit extra for some people but I'm taking my diary with me because I would like to keep track of my life abroad. 